It's that time in the show where we discuss your favorite celebrities and the crazy things they get up to. Okay, maybe they think they're celebrities. <laughs> you know. Not true. Oh, it's so true. It is so true. Okay, so now you're taking it just as the candy. No wrapper. No, no iced wrappers. tea. No vanilla ice. No. 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 We'll go no contemporary. DMC. Yeah. So, in celebrity news, I don't know how true this is. I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, there is a restraining order by the Jackass team against ba- Bam Margera. I-, I don't know if it's real. Yes, I, I've heard. I've heard that. Yeah, I don't know if it's real or not. Now, I'm just wondering, like, is it each guy individually, or or was like the paperwork filed like Jackass, <laughs> and that's it? Everybody that's associated it. in it. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole team. They just cover it as one person. Well, what's funny is but, he's part of the Jackass crew. So does he have a restraining order against himself? Like, I, I got to be. He, he I gotta, was I part be, of it I gotta, I until gotta he couldn't be sober for the four weeks of them filming. With oh, him. wow. There is a huge debate about that as well. Now, I agree. He couldn't keep sober. But the thing is that Paramount, which is the company producing the Jackass movie, uh-huh. they had their own doctor that prescribed the medicines for him like people are like this is kind of hanky you know what i mean it's sort of like if you worked for like um let me think In-N-Out but Burger. i thought it you i thought it In-N-Out wasn't Burger. medicine i thought it wasn't medicine that he was the drug of choice that he was doing like he no he was doing his... adderall adderall he's been doing since he was like 14 or something like that now how he does the adderall i don't know but that was the one that he tested positive for and that they kicked him out of the program for, i thought he was show. like steve-o like 10 years ago like whip it man whip it man yeah no yeah. no he was doing adderall that's the tested positive for adderall and they kicked him off the show or off the movie now, here's the thing, though. The Paramount physician had him on a drug cocktail of somebody said like 5, 10, 15, Actually, I think it was Bam said like 5, 10, or 15 drugs that the Paramount physician gave him that he was supposed to be taking. Now, mm. I agree with everybody involved. Like, if you're a crackhead, like meaning that you're addicted to some yes. kind of drug, just generically using crackhead everybody. Yes. Uh, because that drugs was are bad, the thing. People. Drugs are bad. But if you're addicted to a medication and you have to have it, like and right it's different than being addicted to like heroin you know what i mean yeah meth, um, heroin, but again all, yeah to be quite honest yeah. they were just trying to help them out they're trying to get them off drugs people get them off right. drugs i mean they helped steve-o out and look where he's at now i think he's doing the best that he's ever has been like one hundred thousand percent like one hundred i wouldn't i would never percent. hang out with him before but now i'd be like yeah he seems like a Swing cool dude by, now. man no, I yeah, agree. Like, did you ever see any of the Whippet videos? Uh, meaning the yes. like, he was sitting in his room surrounded by Whippets, like literally. Yes. And he was mounted. like, he, he was like, I go to a different office supply store and buy as much as I can. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, what? What? And he's like, you're only allowed to buy 10. So I would drive down a couple blocks and buy another 10. And it's like, yeah. Oh my and God. he talks about the fact that he had a system um, where he would crack because he was using what's called a whipped cream container and he would crack it into the whipped cream container and he was so fast that he could keep it loaded for like an hour and just go on nitrous oxide for an hour, which is also known as laughing gas. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it Swiss cheeses your brain similarly to the way that um, I'm pretty they, sure it does. Do. I've seen him put um, hot sauce in his eye, so you don't yeah. get that by he's being, not, you yeah, know. he's not the. He, he's he's not let's put it this way I'm not recommended to follow in steve-o's path unless you're absolutely and, and i'm sure he would say the same thing too oh, yeah, like 100 sure. percent. but i like, think he yeah. still does like here's the funny part is like when you i okay so here's an interesting question i will pose this question to you is it crazier to be on drugs and do crazy shit or is it crazier not to be on drugs and do the crazy shit that he does which one Hmm. I think it, it, hmm. I'm going to go with the first one because the second one, yeah, because the second one, you're aware of how much pain it's going to cause. Okay. Okay. You know, (laughs) like you're aware of that. 
Right. That's right. why Jackass Four is going to be so funny because oh yeah, before it was know. like they're just a little bit like eh, this is going to hurt a little bit, but now right. they're like that's going to land me in the hospital. <laughs> like this is well, they bad. said that this was the first uh, Jackass where like they literally told the producers no. Meaning that there were certain stunts that they were just straight up like, no. And Steve-O has yeah, talked no. about the fact that he's the only active stuntman out of all of them. Meaning that right. when Jackass started, everybody's like, oh, you're just being a Jackass. But let's be honest, they're professional stuntmen. They're right. not and Jackass. And Steve-O went through clown school, too. So he, mm -hmm. he knows how to get fired out of a cannon. He yes. knows how to land safely. He knows, Correct. yeah. And I was going to say, that, that is one of the of skills like that feet. you learn. Yeah, yeah, that is a skill that you learn in clown school, oddly enough, is how to fall. And anybody right. that has gone to clown school or has had any training, like um, I was on a job site probably four, three, four years ago and I'm walking and I hit like a curb or a cord or something. And I literally like fell. <laughs> yeah. And it was a production. Everybody was like. But I, wow. and I and I like rolled out of it and I stood up yeah. and they're like are you hurt and I'm like no I'm actually fine and uh, I blame that on like being at prop camps and stuff like that and people teaching you now the one that I've never done and I don't think I could do it uh, is a full flip to the ground have you ever seen oh, the gotcha. guys do those yes yep. Um, yep. and that is also a skill you have to land flat that well I shouldn't tell people sort of like I shouldn't tell you what to fire breathe with um, because that's not some kid in the audience is like, oh, Tick said that this is what you do, mom. Oh, you <laughs> do you not try this at home. Ryan Reynolds gin. What? Ryan Reynolds gin? What? <laughs> oh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I think pretty much any time we say his name. So this next article or uh, news story uh, is very important. Like I, I read this. And first of all, we talked about Batista last week. He, I, I'm a oh, huge fan. Yeah. That, so. that does tie in with other stories that we're going to cover today, too. Yes. So, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So, Dave Batista adopts abused and abandoned puppy. And then this is the, this is the part that I like. Pledges $5,000 to find the person responsible. Wait you know, it. I'll give you, you $5,000. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes and yes. Uh, yeah, when I saw the story, I was just like, first of all, anybody that does anything to like dogs or cats or any of that kind of stuff. Yes, mm. I agree with you. Mm. I agree with you 100 percent. Mm. Uh, we don't need to watch the Fox News flash update. No, we, you, we, you we just said it and it. she's there we go. excited. And there he goes. He's like, peace. Goes. Yep. He's like, I was going to do two, but then I changed my mind to five. Yep. And that's pretty much this. Dave Batista everybody uh yeah no seriously it, like when i read this story like, i'm like five thousand dollars to help find this person could you imagine batista yeah. knocking on this i don't even want i mm, i just want to swear yes. like person's house and being like yes. hey i have your dog now and they're like where is that stupid dog i'm gonna kick it <laughs> oh yeah that's why i stopped by because i noticed that you were kicking yep. it and i've got something for you He's like, I have a certain set of skills. And he uh, does. <laughs> yeah, he does. He yeah, does. you don't want to. You don't oh, want to. Oh, man. Yeah. Oof, Mr. Batista. Oh, I'd be scared to death of that guy, like, if he showed up. Like, I would in too. that capacity. I mean, he can come by the right. show anytime. I'm not scared of him, like, stopping sure. by and promoting something. I'm, he's, I, so. he, I'm sure he's a great guy. Oh, I, I yes. Kind, gentle. Yes. Nice. Uh, don't get on his bad side, though. I, I'm just no. saying. Uh, no, 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 no. Thank you for watching this segment of the TP Show. Please follow us on Fruit Lab. Don't forget we have a podcast on your favorite podcast app. This has been another installment of the TP Show.